stole from my Twitter bio and so beautifully articulated. Our all thanks to my ugly Indy Army. I wouldn't have been a fraction of the person I am today and I'm by no means any, anything great. But whatever I am today, I owe completely and totally to my father's career in the army. And uh, I, I begin to wonder what life would have been like if I was born into a civilian household. So, that. And uh, when we sent me the book, I actually read it in one straight sitting um, on a flight from Bombay to Brussels. And I was the only one on a flight where anybody had gone to sleep just laughing loudly, randomly. You know, it was this big sleep book that I could so relate to. And interestingly, everything in my second name. Second so these things which are so specific to the army uh, are things that we don't notice because we're from the army. But uh, on a, to answer your question finally, I think our uh, a portrayal of the life in the army is so accurate, so relevant as well, which I think is very, very uh, much needed. I think it's a great career. And for those of uh, who were not in it, there's somebody here who gave up a career in the Air Force for him, you're missing a lot and your corporate career is never going to match up to it. You think people would like to read and enjoy and remember, right? So, uh, when I was pregnant with my first child, she's like one and a half years old now, I thought, you know, this life that I'm leading, my friends, civilian friends, they will not relate to it at all. So, when I would tell them, see, listen, my husband's away for a good thing, training for two months, they would go like, Two months? Dude, what are you going to do without him for two months? So I'd say, you know, I'm busy because the first week you're very busy. You are never free. Your husband's not there, life doesn't stop. He come back, he's doing his equipment training. But you have social needs to attend, you have, you know, girls who have children at that time. They have PTAs to attend. So basically, an army wife is generally doing a lot of stuff on her own. We have a very, uh, very senior army wife here with me. <laughs> Manali, who insists I call it Manali and not Mrs. Hitra. So, you know, they're like really cool people. But when we're civilians, uh, nobody thinks about what happens to that girl who married a college and now she's like changed 10 numbers in two years. And what is going on with her? Nobody really knew. And I would give a call to my ex colleagues and, you know, my friends who are girls, <laughs> you guys. And uh, they'd say, now which number is this? What place are you at? What are you doing? Have you left the job? So, you know, I know this is a subject which is not been touched in the Indian context, it's silly. And my style of writing is funny and humor anyway, so I thought, why not? And then I wrote the book, and the publishing happened very quickly, so yes, that's about it.